Well, hello everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. This is Diamond Art with Dell, and I have um, a diamond painting I'm going to unbox for you today. This is one of the Crazy Crafts Sparkles. Uh, Crazy Crafts is like um, you can go to physical stores like you can like Spotlights and Link Crafts and those sort of things, but also has an online presence, which is where I got this one from because um, I don't have a store near me, but you, you can um, get these online. Uh, I This is an Australian-based company, so I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys, for those that are overseas. I'm not sure if they ship to you guys. I haven't found anything um, that says they do ship over there. But, yeah, I thought it was still a very cool project uh, to show you guys, and um, I, I find them really good. Now, these are called Caged uh, Sparkle. So I believe this is their own uh, brand of diamond painting. This one is called Jungle. It is a design size of what well, says here 440 by 340 millimeters. So 44 by 34 centimeter canvas. I mean, sorry, design. Canvas is 50 by 40. So you get um, both measurements with these guys. And this image is a really um, very pretty, but very simple in one sense. It's got beautiful flowers and just and birds. I've just got a thing for birds lately. I've been picking up a lot of things for birds. Now, I really like the way these have been packaged. They have a really nice sturdy box, um, you know, as far as for shipping. They sent everything, because I bought quite a few things actually from that store, um, but I, they put everything in a nice big box for me as well as this. Uh, some companies will just send these straight out with a, uh, you know, your information stuck straight to the box. We've been delivered with no problems and stuff like that as far as damage to things, but, you know, the risk of it being damaged is probably higher, I guess. And if you were, say, purchasing this not for yourself and it got damaged, it would be really... I don't know, it'd make it awkward to say we're giving it to a gift if the packaging was all messed up. So um, I was very happy with it as far as that sort of thing, as far as the shipping and so forth. But I'm going to open this sucker up. Come on, you. Oh, that's right. These things are sealed. So so firmly sealed. Last one was sealed to the wilds and woozen. Oh, yeah, that's a word now. The she's and hoofton, as they say. Far out. You know what? This this I should have but just undone off camera. Alright. That was actually kind of stressful trying to open that. So I'm just coming straight into here. Because that was really well sealed and I was having struggles. So I'm not going to put you all through that. This is what is in the box. Which is what we want to have a look at anyway. As I said, very nice um dirty box and the designs all throughout so I think they're very pretty and well packaged I like that um, if you wanted to and I'm finding this is probably a, uh, a, a good idea because I can't frame and hang everything I do something like that, that where it comes in a beautiful designed box uh, once I've finished the diamond painting so I can roll that up and just store it back in there and it's going to protect it obviously beads out but I'm going to protect it. I'm going to actually store it and file it and know exactly what's in there. You know, you can just write on the end here, it's completed or something, or put a sticker on it. And that's another way you can just, you know, keep your diamond paintings that you've completed in a, in a protected area. All right, let's open this plastic. Everything's so sealed on this thing. Oh my goodness. Ooh la la. Nice dust cover, be gone. So this is going to be rather gorgeous, I think. I'm really looking forward to having a crack at this. The other one was really, really fun to work on. I just... I don't know if it's just because these images are... I don't know, well, I was going to say for a better word, simplified or designed to be diamond paintings, that they just seem to work really well. Okay, so I've got round drills. This is a round drill project. Um, I've got that kind of stripping stuff going on, but we'll have a bit of a closer look later. Uh, you get a really nice little tool kit with this, this one. You got your little squeezy thing. Uh, you got a multi-placer as well, if you can see that. 
and some baggies and a pause spout. So I think it's a nice, it's a very nice little, um, nice little kit. Let's just peel this back and release. Now these canvases are, well, they're pretty good as far as flexibility. They, they, they are kind of stiff. It's not a real soft, pliable kind of canvas. It is fairly firm. Let's just roll this back. But once you release it, it does settle in really, really well. And I think because they roll them a little, like they're folded, but they're just softly rolled, these um, these back creases are not very prominent. But pretty good too. Do, 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 do. Look at that. You could practically go ahead and just go straight at that if you want to. I will let it rest just under some books just for a couple of days, I think. Uh, just because I like to have a nice flat canvas and I've got plenty. Plenty to do in between while I wait for this one to settle. So that's fine. All right. There we have it. I'll stop mucking around with it so you can actually have a really nice look. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Now I've got uh, like a little parrot up here, another one down the bottom. Um, and then we've got all these beautiful tropical flowers all throughout the design it's sort of a very dark color image in a lot of ways with this background is just pretty much all solid blocking for the most part you have a few little it, like the is an outline to all the flowers and things like that you do so they will help be prominent from that um, but yeah it's quite a dark background uh, it was just some bright images with these birds and a few flowers. So it's it's very contrast. It's going to be very interesting to see how that comes across once it's finished. Uh, once you get all the drills on there, of course, it's going to have a, a bit of a different look. And I think that's going to uh, really bring out these flowers and so forth. That is probably a little bit, yeah, I think it's going to, and these leaves and so forth, it's going to just bring everything out so much more. There we have it. Very, very pretty. Um, there is quite a few images that they've got there. I've just sort of chosen a couple of bird ones, basically. But there's unicorns and all sorts of other animals and things. I'll have a look with you guys at charting and stuff now. So we'll go down a little bit closer. There we go. So this is the drilling field. As you can sort of see how it's set up, it's very... Uh, very simplified it's got lots and lots of blocking areas i think that's what makes these fun because you can sort of get the multiplayer going and really get into it if you want to take your time and just do one by one however you like to diamond paint really i'll just give a bit of a walk through the canvas just have a bit of a look it's a big bird so I will have a go at this soon. Lots and lots of projects I've got to do. I have charging um, on the top left and I have some on the bottom right as well. So you should be able to either roll from the top or the bottom as you work on this one. There we go. Oops, let's come back out again. So that's a pretty good look at the canvas. As I said, you've got a beautiful big canvas. I have charting and again charting here. So I might just show you just this one by May. Um, both have a thumbnail, which you can see quite reasonable, a bit glary. Uh, this one has 23 colours in total. There we go. Now I have DMC coding all throughout and simple system of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes into lettering, which is A, C, E, and so forth. There you go. And I also have one up here on this side. It's got its thumbnail, DMC coding, and all the rest of it there. And as you can see, I've got, um, 
you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, when you're having a look at these ones, this this symbol, I think it's an F for number 12. It's pretty dark. That might be a bit hard to see. Uh, hopefully, maybe even this number three too as well. Um, a couple of them might have been better off if they were reversed, like, you know, this put them as the white print rather than the black printing for those. Uh, just having a look at those symbols on the actual canvas because that can be different a little by a little bit. It is dark, but it is, it is easier to read, I suppose. Can you see that? The Fs there. Yeah. So they are not too bad. Um, probably a light pad and you'll be fine, of course, but they're not too bad on the canvas. Or well, at least better on the canvas, I should say. Where are the threes? Because they were another dark colour. They're a really deep dark green. Deep dark green. Oh, here we go. Here's a whole patch of them up here in this top, top corner. So they are a lot better to read on the canvas, but not so much on the charting. So there you go. It's not too bad. Uh, if you had any issues, a light pad obviously would fix that. I think no problem because the print is actually nice and clear as uh, far as the symbols and things on the actual canvas. So there we go. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with all that. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But I said I will let that rest under um, a couple of books or so forth on the table here for a few days before I get into it. Okay, let's have a look at these drills, shall we? They are round. It's nice, big packaging. Let's see if we can keep this sucker in focus today. Jumping, I'm jumping around a little bit um, with this video because I kept getting issues with focus. So I do apologise if it's a bit jumpy. But I'm sure you'd actually like to see things rather than just big blur. So, um, yeah, that's the payoff, isn't it? Okay. Wow. Look at this. This is a huge amount of drills. Huge amount of drills. Lots of dark colours. The number two was a 310. There's a lot of black for the outline. If you could see that, there was a lot of outline around all of these uh, flowers and so forth. So that's going to help bring them forward out from that dark background that they've got to deal with. Let's just grab a strip, I think, and just work from there. Now, the last one I did have, uh, the drills were wonderful in it, so I had no issues. So I don't think these will be a problem either because they're the same kind or packaging. So it should be fine, but we'll have a quick look um, at them anyway, just for colours and things. So we've got number ones are going to be just yellow, and then I've got some blacks. As I said, we've got three packets of those because there's quite an extensive amount of outlining. I would have thought you need three, but we'll see how we go. Uh, as I said, the last one had lots of leftover drills too. They were good. So that's the plus. I have to show you it. I think I might do a little video and show you that one as well. Just a quick one. Just to see what it looks like finished. Uh, this is got, this has got, mm, English. So I've got some other beautiful soft tones of whatever that is. I was going to say a melon, but it's not. So I've got some more beautiful colours, lots of soft tones of greens, some more of these sort of peachy colours, a little bit of that, some lovely shades of blue, quite a few of those, I want to flip it and roll around everywhere, make a lot of noise. Uh, this has got some beautiful pink, lots and lots of green, so that's the background green, is it, number 16? Yes, so that is that background, it's a lovely, nice, deep olive green or so, whatever you like to call it, almost. It's a very nice green, anyway. Uh, 890 for DMC, so that's something you can check out if you like. That gives you an idea. Okay. Coming from this end. 
Uh, again, I've got some really nice pastel greens, some nice yellows and orange. You can just saw the, uh, the brown and bricky colours and so forth, some white and creams. So there you have it. Um, as I said, these drills are very nice from in the other kits, so I think these will be quite nice and sparkly as well. Yeah, happy with that purchase. Very nice. I don't know how I'm going to pack this up properly, but we'll just give it a go. It's a bit rough. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do, don't it? It'll do. That'll do, don't it? That'll do. That should go. That'll rattle. Righto. So that's a look at the drills. As I said, they were nice and sparkly on the other kit. I think they'll be lovely and sparkly for this one. There we go. Well, that is the Crazer Craft kit. It looks awesome. I'm really happy with it. That is your little uh, toolkit you get. Comes in this cool box. As I said, you've got all this stuff going on here. Uh, that is the price of it, although I bought mine on sale. So there you go. These are the drills, which again, I'm betting they're going to be awesome because the other one was. And there we have it. Just go and do a bit of hands-free, check it all out motion. Look at that. I hope I'm not making anyone sick. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking through this one. Uh, this is a very nice little kit. Very happy uh, with these products as far as value for money, etc. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at it. I think this one's going to come up real, real beaut, and as the other one has done as well. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you and goodbye. I hope you are stay well and be safe with everything you're doing today and going forward. I'll see you next video, guys. Until then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to share this with your friends. Please do share this on your social media or anywhere else you like that um, you think you would enjoy this unboxing video. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Be well, be safe, as I said, and um, yeah, cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye.